Welcome to NYNicks.com. Jonah Ballo here at MSG Training Center for a scouting report. The matchup is the Utah Jazz. I'm here with Josh Longstaff, assistant coach for the New York Knicks. We look at this matchup with Utah, a change from the head coaching position. Quinn Snyder has been around the league a long time. We know him from his college days as well. Uh, what do you see from this Utah team that's differently with him as the head coach? Um, well, they're playing a little different, uh, a little more up speed, uh, a little more pace. Um, you know, the guys, they're athletic. They're kind of utilizing their athleticism and their youth. Um, not going inside as much as moving the ball. They're playing in the paint. Uh, they're one of the best teams at getting in the paint and also finishing in the paint. So uh, a lot a lot of change from the past couple of years. Yeah, I've seen them on tape, uh, a team that's moving the ball around. But you said in the paint and the two big guys, Ennis Cantor, Derek Favors, it pretty much starts with them. Now they're starting those two bigs. How do they work with those two guys and making sure that the spacing is clear for them on the offensive side? Um, they actually do a good job. Um, they play with four out and one in, and Cantor's usually out in the perimeter. Um, he's improved his three-point shot um, over the past year, so he's a legit three-point threat now. And then Favors um, you know, is a threat on the block, and with his athleticism, those guys find him in there, and he's a great finisher. So they, they work well together. Watching Gordon Hayward and sort of you know his rise over the past couple of years, he seems to be a guy that gets it done on both ends of the floor, a very versatile wing guy. What do you see from him and kind of how do you limit what he does? Because he's not really like a true superstar in the sense he's going to go out and shoot you know 25 times a game, but he does have an impact. No, he does. He, he, the thing about him, he plays within himself. Um, he's one of those guys. He gets into the paint. He's improved his shot. Um, he's shooting like 37% from uh, three-point range now, which is an improvement from last year. Um, and he's a good player, so we have to do a good job of trying to keep him out of the paint and uh, limiting his touches. What do you think about their bench? Uh, the rookie, Dante Exum, who's a fascinating player. He's such a, a large point guard there. I think he's, what, 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, yeah. And uh, also they bring up Trevor Booker, who's been around the league a while, too, an energy type of guy. Yeah, no, their, their bench is good. Um, you know, they, they, they play up tempo with the starters, and then they sub out, and it's right to it uh, with the bench. So. Um, you know, those two guys you mentioned, um, Exum and Booker, are a big, big uh, part of that. Uh, Booker's great at running uh, the floor in transition, and um, Exum's got a nice feel for a young guy. Okay, flipping the conversation to the Knicks side, uh, you guys win the third quarter, you know, against the Magic in a close contest there. What are some of the positives that you saw from that game and that can translate to this contest against Utah? I mean, it's all, all about effort, you know, and, and our effort level has been there. Um, you know, we're just trying to get better every day, um, you know, and try to improve that way and uh, on both ends of the floor offensively and defensively. So, you know, that's that's the approach we're taking every day, get a little bit better and we're getting a little closer every day. Is it hard sometimes when you see that incremental, you know, jump maybe in practice in the games from a coaching staff, but the wins aren't showing up just quite yet? Yeah, I mean, it, the players are doing a great job. They're, they're being patient. They're learning a new way to play basketball. Um, not only offensively, which that's where the focus has been on, but defensively as well. So you got to give them a lot of credit, and, and they're fighting every day. They're not showing any type of frustration, and, um, you know, we just got to keep trying to help them every day. Just from an outsider's perspective, it seems like the offense, you're trying to push the ball a little bit more, get a little bit more tempo within uh, maybe some transition, get some easy buckets. Is that the case here in the uh, last couple games? Yeah, I mean, we, anytime you got to uh, – transition opportunity you want to try to take it and um, you know we want to just encourage uh, the ball handlers to push the ball and the wings to run and um, as well as the bigs uh, to run the floor and if there's an opportunity there then we want to take it. All right we are uh, really interested to see this game against Utah a team that's kind of on the rise there in the west and always appreciate your insight thank you so much. Oh thanks for having me appreciate it. There he is Josh Longstaff right here on Knicks.com.